Hey, superstars, welcome to the Get Rich Without Being a Bitch podcast. I am Vanessa Shaw, your host for the journey that we're about to embark upon. Listen, if you're in business for yourself, you want to enjoy financial empowerment, live life on your terms, and frankly, live a much richer life, you are going to be in the right place because we are going to be challenging stereotypes, breaking through glass ceilings, giving you the tips, tools, and strategies that can help you be a better version of you, build life and business on your terms. So be sure to subscribe because you are not going to want to miss an episode. Go to your favorite podcast platforms on Apple or Spotify and hit subscribe now. And I can't wait to start the journey with you. This is so important. And I want to explore with you the three levels of clarity that money needs so that it can come into your life in this episode. Hey, superstars, here we are again really important. If you want more money in your life, which is a big part of that being rich, we've got to give it clarity. It needs to be directed. One of my team members, a financial coach, she's absolutely amazing. She says, we need to direct money as if we were directing a team member, right? Really give it that direction and that clarity. So what does this mean in practice? Well, it's not okay to just say, I want more money, right? It's how much more do we need? What are we looking at? Are we looking at revenue? Are we looking at profit? Are we looking at the amount you pay yourself? Hint, hint, the amount you pay yourself in your business is one of the most important numbers, I believe. I think that's really where the rubber hits the road and you're really going to see the biggest impact. Okay. But again, like what are those numbers that you want to impact? And why is it important? So we want the specificity in the numbers. Now, I'm going to give you kind of a caveat to this. You might be hearing something like this for the first time. And so you're like, but heck, Vanessa, I don't know how to be that specific, right? And that's okay. We can go with somewhat of a grounded guess to get started because I certainly started out that way. I was definitely picking some numbers out of thin air initially, and then they weren't making sense. And then I started to build that skill set and got more specific, right? But if you've been around this for a while and you've been in business for a while as well, we need to start building that skill set of getting more specific, right? So again, what is that number that's really going to make a difference for you? Is it doubling your business? Is it an extra 100,000? Is it paying yourself whatever extra percentage, right? And now what I want you to do is to drill down into your money why. Why is it important? Like, What are you going to use it for and why is it important? So one of the tools that I created for our clients many years ago that they found really helped them with this was something called three levels of money why. And I want you to think about it through this lens, right? You're at the center. So the first level of money why is why is it important to you, right? Why is that number important to you? What's the difference that it's going to make in your life? So let me give you examples of things that women have shared over the years. Like, I want to do it because I really want to prove to myself that I can. Like, it's going to give me that sense of empowerment when I can see that I can, let's say, double my revenue, okay? And this is what I'm going to use it for. I will be able to pay myself X amount extra this year when I do that. I will be able to perhaps hire some help. I will be able to invest in perhaps a new system for the business, or I will be able to reward myself with something, right? So it's all about that impact of what's the difference it's going to make to you. The next level of your money why is who I call your inner circle. This is often your loved ones, first and foremost. What difference is it going to make to them? Because you're doing this for a reason, and it's likely a reason that extends beyond you. So what difference is it going to make to your family, your children, if you've got them? What difference is it going to make to perhaps extended family? Again, I'm going to give you examples here of things that people have shared over the years, but I want you to think about the ones that are most important to you. So people have shared things like, I'll be able to retire my husband, 
or my partner is miserable in their job. And if I am more successful, they're going to be able to leave or they won't have all of that pressure to be bringing in money, right? Those are really good examples. I want my kids to have better experiences. So perhaps that might be going to a better school, paying for private school fees, perhaps it's travel, perhaps it's some sports opportunities. Again, whatever those things are like, let's get really specific about it. I've had women share with me that their parents are not in the best of health and that they want to be able to move their parents closer to where they live. And possibly that means they've actually got to buy them an apartment or a condo or contribute right, in some shape or form to their parents' livelihood. So again, that second layer is really your inner circle. Now, it can also extend to, in that inner circle, perhaps it's team members, people that you're going to be impacting because you're going to be creating opportunities that are going to increase their financial well-being. So this might be people right, that you hire to help you, let's say, in the home. I, I'm going to be super transparent. That was one of the first places I hired. When I first set up my business nearly 20 years ago, my kids were considerably younger. I needed a helping hand in the home. Otherwise, I was going to be super stressed. And I was very fortunate to stumble across and literally stumble across because I was walking a dog one day and met a woman and we struck up conversation. And she had recently gone through a divorce, um, something that was completely unexpected. She had three children. She never, ever expected that to happen. And she had never worked either. And she was desperately looking for some extra work to do. And the work that she was looking to do was actually to support somebody in the home because that's where she felt most comfortable. And I was able to hire her initially for a few hours a week. And then she became pretty much full time with us as my business took off. Right? Those were opportunities that were afforded to somebody that she was so grateful for. So was I. It gave her a level of freedom. She was able to travel. She even traveled to the States when we moved to the States and helped me, you know, supported me as my husband was still back in Europe at the time. She actually came over whilst I was attending conferences and I was able to fly her in, right? And this is an example of how that one expanded over the years in my own life. Other times it might be, hiring a virtual assistant, an assistant, people to help you in your business, right? So that you are not carrying the load of it. So that's in your level two why. The level three is really that place of paying it forwards. What are the causes that are really close to your heart that if you had more money, or let's say when you have more money, you could contribute at a higher level? So again, the sorts of examples that people have shared over the years is that perhaps there's a favorite charity that they would love to contribute to or they'd love to contribute more to. Um, it might be things, again, these come up a lot in my world, um, women in shelters, domestic abuse, um, young women that have, you know, unfortunately having to have babies, you know, and helping with them. I mean, there's so many people that need our help. Perhaps it's, you know, you have a passion for the next generation, it's teens or the homeless, or you really have an affinity with animals, right? And you really want to pay it forward to help the local rescue. It doesn't matter what it is. It just matters that you care care about it and that by creating more wealth in your own life and getting clear on what you want to be doing with it, you can actually start to contribute more. So again, just in this recap, I want to come back to those three levels of why. The first one is for you. Right? What difference is it going to make to you and why is that important? Secondly, that inner circle, right? your family, your extended family, and then getting into team and the people that that are going to support you. And third place is those causes, right, that are really close to your own heart. Now, I'm going to give you an extra tip here of how you can really take this further. I used to do this in live events, and it was always really eye-opening because some people have had a limiting belief, let's say, that wanting more money and having it somewhat makes them selfish. And by going through this next exercise with it, you can start to see how actually you really pay it forwards and it's anything but selfish. 
So you can actually start to put the names of the people that will be impacted. Who are those family members? Who are the people that you'd be paying it forwards to? Who are the names of the people that you're hiring or the roles of the people that you want to be hiring when you get ahead? Who are those charities, those causes, right, that are close to your heart? Start to put them down on that piece of paper, and you will start to see the impact that you can start to make when you have more. And it is anything but selfish. So once again, I really hope this episode has resonated with you today. Please leave a review. I'd love to know what's resonating, what insights you're getting, and what action steps you'll be taking from this episode. And be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you're watching YouTube, you want to make sure you don't miss an episode. And also subscribe on your favorite podcasts, Apple and Spotify. Can't wait to catch you on the next one.